Okay, so this is where we stopped. Eco export path slash user hyperlib, you got user hyper include path, and tilde dot bash rc. So I told you about tilde, how to get the tilde. Hold down Alt and the last key on the second row of the keyboard, and let go. And maybe sometimes press right arrow or space to get the character if it's not appearing directly. So once that is done, you will need to refresh that location dot batch rc which holds everything and this is done using the command source so you say source dot bash rc enter and now use the command echo dot and there you go the first two uh, first two paths listed are user local hyper lib and user local hyper so now we have successfully added hyper to your path the last part of the prerequisite installation is getting a library called Icon. This contains uh, libraries that are used to calculate certain matrices and so on. And Icon, again, let's go to a browser and Google Icon. And here it is, eigen.tuxfamily.org. Just click on that first link that you get and get it. Here's that, get it, latest stable release, Icon 3.3.7. And I can just get the a zip version or tar.gz version doesn't matter. I get the tar.gz version. And there it is downloaded. So it goes into the Windows downloads folder. And using our previous knowledge on transferring from the Windows downloads folder to our uh, Ubuntu home folder, I'll put it in the libraries uh, folder actually. So cp to copy from mnt c users my username downloads icon icon e i there you go into the libraries folder remember the space so the command is cp and the name of the file you want to copy or the path of the file you want to copy and the location where you want to copy it all separated by space Enter so now it is copied to libraries. So I go to CD libraries and you see there it is eigen. So I same tar command again tar minus xbf. This is to expand the eigen archive and done. So this command will create that folder. So the names that you see in blue are folders, names that you see in green are the archives. I will just delete the archives because we don't need it anymore. So rm minus uh, rm minus f the i dot tar. Remember to do that, otherwise your folder will be deleted. And in the same manner, hyper dot tar. So remove that, and I have these two folders now. So I go back to the home folder, and with this, all the prerequisites for installing Reef City are now complete. Uh, one last thing is the software to visualize. You can see my downloads folder, several types of Paraview that I've installed or downloaded. So you can do the same thing. Just go to Paraview, just go to your browser, search for Paraview. There it is, and you can directly click on download latest release. And there you go. Depending on uh, which system you're on, you can simply download uh, the file that you would like. So for Windows, just take the .exe file, and once it is downloaded, just double click to install uh, the file, like you would do with any program. And uh, they don't have Linux users, so on the Mac, people using Apple, you can download either the .tkg or the .dmg. Again, uh, like any other program that you download on your Mac, you can just uh, click on this and install it. So, so that's it for the prerequisites. In the next video, I will show you how to uh, make Reef3D and Dad Mesh and get ready to run simulation.